ShadCN UI is a very extensible UI library with no abstractions, giving you full control of the style using Tailwind CSS. On the other hand, a tool called NextUI, a completely separate standalone UI library, surprisingly goes really well with that first UI library. The reason is they complement each other so well. Where one lags, the other one comes ahead, lifts it up and provides beautiful animations. Here's how. So both of these have pros and cons, and I'm not just saying that, I literally mean it. ShadCN UI is super easy to set up it just works out of the box. Next UI has a bit fancier animations and it shines at components that ShadCN you know, could do better. Both of these has cons as well. And again, I'm not just saying that. Chat CNUI, you need to install everything manually. Is that inherently a con? Maybe not, because it's intended by the author. It's supposed to be that way. But for you as a developer, it's a bit more work than in Next UI, where you just have to import everything from one single dependency. And to be honest, some stuff in Chat CNUI, especially the radio, what you're gonna see later, I'm not a fan of. I think it could look way better. The fancier animations in Next UI come at a small cost though. They look better than in Chatsy and UI, but they also have a separate animation library that is frame or motion weighing your app down just a bit. With that said, let's get into the first example. And we're gonna go from next UI is just a tad cleaner, a tad looking better, to later in the examples, while there is actually a pretty big difference. For the accordions, there's not a huge difference. With Chat CN, they all work the same, but in Next UI, the text also slightly fades in once we open the accordion by default, which is kind of a nice addition. It's just a bit nicer. It's a very small detail, but I do prefer it over the ShadCN implementation. And you can see the different abstraction approach right here. This is the ShadCN version. There tends to be a bit more code in here because there's less abstraction. You have more control over the styles in ShadCN than you do in Next UI. It's a bit more abstract, but also you need to write a bit less code for it. That also reflects in the import statements, by the way. For next UI, just import two things, you're good to go. And for Shadzi and UI, there are four things you need to import, but you also have more control for it. Next up, and I think this example is way more clear than the accordions, but where there was just a small difference. Take a look at this. This is the Shadzi and UI implementation. As I click, the check mark is just there. That is instant feedback, that is good but it could look a bit fancier, right? And Next UI does just that. Take a look at this animation. When I click it, the thing pops up, the icon is animated and it looks, it looks pretty good. The only thing I'm not a fan of is that the feedback is not instant. It takes a small while. And as far as I know, you can't adjust the animation duration. You can disable it. So it works just like the Chat CN one, but why even bother with Next UI at that point? The animations are the main point I prefer over Chat CN. It really is a different style. So if you prefer clean animations instead of the direct feedback for users, even though the UX might suffer a tiny bit from that, then Next UI is really well suited for you. One big difference I've noticed in the progress bars or progress spinners. This is the ShadCN version. Now this is not an official component from ShadCN UI, this loader, but it is an implementation I got from his work. You can see that right here in the progress. It's just a loader to an icon we get from a icon library and that is with the animate spin. It just works with Tailwind, which makes the animation lighter. And you can see the difference is pretty big actually. Whereas we just import one single icon, if we import the circular progress from NextUI or the spinner, the imports are much larger. That is the main downside of NextUI. But they also tend to look a bit more advanced. This one has a nice little trail going behind it. This one is going around in intervals. And the last one I really want to show you because it's very cool. It is like a built-in progress bar. You can change the value and that is gonna animate this thing right here. It's gonna animate beautifully and you can use it for even different stuff than just showing a loading spinner. And the last one I want to show you is the radio. There's a pretty big difference here. Just like with a checkbox, right? With Shadzi and UI, it's instant, it just works but there's no animation involved whatsoever. That makes, again, your app lighter and faster and the UX feedback more direct. With NextUI, there are definitely fancier animations. Take a look at this. The outline is instant, so the UX doesn't suffer at all. And then the small dot in the middle is beautifully animated in once you click on a radio item. Now, which one is better? I'm not gonna tell you. You be the judge. Do you prefer small little animations and accept that your app is gonna be just a very tad slower from those, even though, to be honest, it's probably not gonna be noticeable or just direct feedback 
in the Shatsy N implementation. So in conclusion, I feel like the parts where Shatsy N is not animated, Next UI picks up beautifully. You can use these two together seamlessly, both rely on Tailwind. And I went through the pros and cons. One has a bit more abstraction, one has a bit less. It really depends on what you prefer, but using these both together, I think is a really powerful combination. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. I love to hear your thoughts and then I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.